Some primo sushi. The slices are huge. Man, I'm starving. Can we eat? Hey, where are Aigesan and Ikutsuki san? He took it to the lab for a tune up or something. He said they'll join us later. <laughs> Chairman just can't stay away from the lab, can he? That must be my father. We've been waiting for you. So it's finally over then.
relax to the sound that goes around and round and round and round. She said, Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire. Every day we inspire, but never expires. But we will chill today, let me rock the world tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, 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 That's right. Uh, who's he? Can't you tell? That's Kirijo Senpai's dad. She looks exactly like him. Y you think so? Congratulations, everyone. You've done well. No words can express my gratitude. Though you'll never receive the recognition you deserve, your achievement was truly monumental. Thank you. Really. special thanks for lending us your power until the very end oh it was no big deal thanks to you the 12 shadows behind all this chaos have been destroyed you've carried this burden long enough you deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth as of midnight tonight the specialized extracurricular execution squad will be disbanded disbanded Oh, right. No longer must you risk your lives in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Is something the matter? Nah, it's nothing. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits. And don't worry about holding back. Eat as much as you'd like. Listen up, everyone. Now that we're good and stuffed, how about we take a picture together? A picture? Actually, I did try to take one last night. Except I forgot it doesn't work during the dark hour. You mean you brought a camera with you to the battle? Well, yeah. I mean, it was our last battle and all. Excuse me, mister. You mind taking our picture? Ugh, I feel like such a tourist. But, you know, I do kind of want a picture, too. Oh, wait. Kikutsuki-san and Aigis aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. 
All right, everyone, get together. Come on, squeeze in tight. Everyone, get real close to me. Close to? Uh, no, not you. Jeez, don't make the poor camera guy wait all day. Hey, we're good to go. You can take the picture whenever. How's this for a pose? Hey, get your hand out of my face! Is it just me, or did this not get my good side? We'll just take another one when Igus and akutsuki san get back, all right? Yes, yes, we hear you. I could really get used to this worry-free lifestyle. How about you, Koro-chan? Are you excited for all this meat? I'm good for now. Nah, suit yourself. You're not real, you hungry? Don't give the dog raw fish, you'll make him sick. I guess an Akutsuki san sure are running late. Just look at the time. It's almost midnight. The hell? Those guys in the suits transmogrified. <laughs> Dark hour still happening? Senpai, what's going on? I'm not sure. Guess I was right to have my doubts. Yeah, something didn't feel right. <sighs> Say what? Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Where's Ikutsuki? And he hasn't even called. What could he be doing with Igus that's making him so late? <sighs> Mitsuru? Everyone, prepare to move out. We're heading for Tartarus. Um, to do what? I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. We have to find out what's going on. Kutsuki san. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Kutsuki san! What are you trying to pull? 
You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the Shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Kirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty, shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? You see, I too was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many shadows. To initiate the fall. That can't be! Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed, but the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you, but all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer, and you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad. He said the Shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie, too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course, I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time. But I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the Fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you- <sighs> I was hoping you'd be able to see the light. But you are just kids, after all. Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them, 
and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. I guess what's wrong? I guess please. Engaging. What's going on here? <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> what is this? <sighs> Damn it! I can't get these off! Father! Ikutsuki, what is the meaning of this? It's exactly what it looks like. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. <laughs> What are you doing, I guess? I... I... Fine! I'll do it myself! Ten years. I've wasted ten long years! I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions! Machine, I'll do it. <laughs> Koromaru, it's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
The only possible way to fix this is to start over! <laughs> Yes. Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs> How did it come to this? Ikutsuki-san! Father! 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 My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him. Actually... Like they cleared out the chairman's room. Well, no surprise there. Icus isn't here either. Uh, just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Kirijo Group CEO dies suddenly. They're blaming it on an illness, though. <sighs> yeah, it's never the truth. <sighs> nope. Rijo Senpai's not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot to be settled. Like the funeral and the family business. She'll probably have her hands full for at least a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? <gasps> What'll happen to Chidori? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of panic. I hope Igis is okay. Yeah. Man, 
I want to hear what they have to say, but they haven't made a peep. Am I supposed to just wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the company execs. Might explain the delay. Yeah, but still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know who to fight now. He kept saying stuff about the fall. What would have happened if we were sacrificed? Unanswered questions. Yeah, but standing around here isn't gonna solve anything, right? True, but there is one thing we know Tartarus is still around and shadows are swarming the place. We should train so we're ready for whatever we might be up against. Right. <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight. Try to get some rest, even if you can't sleep. Okay. Roger that. Oh, right! Yukari-chan! Hmm? What's this? A disc? Um... There were traces of a video on the chairman's PC. A lot was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. And, well... I think it's something you need to see. Thanks, Spooka. I'll be sure to watch this later. Mm hmm. Just don't forget. So it's just a normal DVD? All right, let's see what's on here. Oh, there we go. I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Isn't this that video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. That's why I had to do something to put a stop to it. <laughs> However, in doing so, I released a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Please, you need to listen very carefully. Whatever you do, it is imperative that you do not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Uh-huh. This part's... I wasn't able to do anything to stop this madness. He won't listen to a word I say. He's been seduced by the devil's temptations. Those monsters will try to reunite and become one again. If they succeed, then we're all doomed! I'll say it once more. Do not go after the shadows that were released! And this is the original video. The real one, before Gutsky went and tampered with it. Dad was trying to put a stop to the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one request. Whoever finds this, please give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon, and I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, as your father, I was never happier in my life than when I was with you. This really is my dad. I love you, Yukari. Please, take care of yourself. Dad? Dad? <laughs> I know one thing for sure now. I was right to believe in you. I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. Fight for what I believe in. That's what you would have wanted. Right, Dad?
travel to the brink and to the ground and go. I'm on a mission, riding up whatever it is you gotta do. Riding up to the day of me, true, I'm riding up. I look up in the sky, asking out a while. But never let it face me, I'm keeping good vibes. When I'm on the road, watch out for all the prizes. What the vibes is good and bad, but nothing is good. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions, no matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please, do keep that in mind. Well then, I bid you farewell. Yo, Fiori. <sighs> Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. Is that not it? I was right. This fear. This pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh, I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! But, oh, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to... This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But now, it's different. Huh? Inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei. Don't come here anymore. Shidori. But why?
This is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. I see you back.
Marvelous. I'm looking. Are you accepting? Let's hear the results. How splendid. My apologies. I will await a report of six. Of course. I will await a report of success. I will await a report of success. Perhaps there may come a day when you complete the persona com Very well. there real quick. Welcome. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Oh, um, they're for a girl who's in the hospital right now. Yeah, well, flowers, are they? In that case, how about these ones here? Uh, let's see. All right, uh, one of those. White flowers? Are you sure about that? Huh? What? Is, is that bad? Oh, she likes the color white, so I figured... I'm sure it will be fine, as long as you have a reason. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Good. On second thought, I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. Sorry for the pointless detour. I just don't really know if they're okay to buy. Hey, wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So, the girl I'm visiting. I think I made her upset. I want to tell her I'm sorry, but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? Time, huh? Makes more sense than going to see her without a plan. It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop, you know? No matter how motivated I get, it's getting me nowhere. In that way since I played baseball. Those hero moments, where if I could just hit the ball, man, I get so amped. Except I never once got to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always 
struck out. And I guess nothing's different now. Thanks. Whew. Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Ugh, crap, I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudana with Katsu to wake us up. Oh, wait, do they even have Katsudana there? Doing out this late. Ah, walking the dog, huh? I didn't know you had one. We used to have a dog, too. Man, that brings back memories. What? <laughs> He's a lively one, isn't he? I bet running alongside this little guy would be great practice. For now, I'll run along home. I'll see you later.
What's up? Oh my gosh, that is such a cute dog. You are so lucky. I'm not allowed to have pets at my place. Oh wait, did you hear? Kaz did it again. Seriously, how many times does it have to happen? This is exactly why his towels stink so bad. <laughs> Sorry, I got in the way of your walk, didn't I? I should start heading home anyway. Oh, see you later, doggy. Today we have yet another transfer student. Is this really our third one? Yes, that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kinda cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, that's allowed. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi? That seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? All right. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? 
If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun? Sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see... Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, d Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected. But the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though... You are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Great! Here goes. if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet, so I want to keep learning and try new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Likewise. And thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with.
I'm looking for... Are you accepting a... Let's hear the result. Oh, my. If I may... I will await a rep... Very well. Morning. Speculate. So then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called Que Sera Sera. It's down this way. 
I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift, and uh, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Mm, maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. I borrowed a computer from Fuka-san and gathered some information. Mitsuru-san seems to know her teas well, so I figured I shouldn't give her anything weird. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Thanks. I feel a lot better hearing you say that. I thought about it a lot, and this is the best I could come up with. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start, but I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered, like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day, and I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. Right. I might try some more things later on too, but for now at least, I think I have an idea of how to live my life again. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, you'll always be there for us.
Yeah. I can't explain it very well, but I feel like you can see the real me. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home?
Meat and eggs are essential for building a healthy body. And there's no better choice than chicken. This should last a while. Let's put it in the freezer. Thanks for always helping out. Let me know when you want some more. And that's why... Yes, that's right. Well, the answer was pretty. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us! Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. Considering how angry they were, I'd say I probably was at fault here. But from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first, before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. What a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I 
do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? <laughs> is that how it is? Well, maybe you can tell me once we get to know each other better. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. gifts whenever he goes for a walk. Do you know where he's keeping them? Oh, hmm. Then he must have hidden them really well. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any raw food that could go bad. Him. I'll leave you to it then. morning.
Oh, yeah. That's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. I didn't mean to hit a nerve. Come on, don't worry. We're still gonna hang out, all right? Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy, too. And hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. I only told you because I trust you. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now.
get on with today's lesson. you hey Takeba you hardly ever miss student council meetings I've been looking all over for you did someone ask you to come find me well yeah I'm not a member or anything but still oh, well sorry about that you've been pretty busy huh what with the class trip and all it's for both second and third years so I imagine you have your hands full too the class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri-kun. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's... Almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard... Ow!
Thank you. <sighs> Attention, please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money, too. Oh, Mitsuru? Oh, I see. I didn't realize you two knew each other so well. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... I... myself I uh, I I didn't do it well I thought as much you believe me considering all the work you've been doing for the student council I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor I just wanted to hear it directly from you Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! remember what happened that day you had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving I also remember handing the fee money to you directly or are you really going to say that this is my mistake fee money give me an explanation right now or else I'm so sorry you're right it's, it's completely my fault well senpai has been wait what well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I, I completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. 
I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. I've been like that ever since I was little, or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now.
Oh, I see. Um, then do you think we could still be friends? Oh, thank goodness. I'm just glad that we're still closer than when we first met. Oh, I still have to apologize to the student council president. I think I owe her an explanation, so excuse me. Like this again. That reminds me. Next week is your school trip, isn't it? First years don't get to go. I'm a little envious that you'll get to see Kyoto. I'd like to visit that shrine with all the red Tori gates. What? You'll be staying behind as well, won't you, Karamarukun? <laughs> When Senpai gets back from Kyoto, let's have him tell us all about it. Please, enjoy your trip to the fullest. Amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Oh, not bad. Thanks, keep but My Let's hear the result. Oh my!
All right, just one more. Oh, uh, eating fast is kind of my thing. You don't eat quick at my place? My siblings will pick everything clean. <laughs> don't worry, your food's safe. Take your time. Oh, that was almost a personal best for me. Oh, get this. I've got a race lined up at another school. A coach from a big-time athletic college is gonna be there. You know what that means? If I do well enough, I might score a scholarship. Right? Then I could keep doing track. I had pretty much given up on going to college. We just don't have that kind of money. And I heard about the chance for a scholarship, so... You can imagine why I jumped on it, right? I'm gonna win this thing and go to college. And maybe... This will make my mom's life a little easier. Yeah, you're right. It's a relief to hear you say that. I always think how different things would be if my dad were still alive. If he were here, my siblings wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they'd get to eat every day. <sighs> well, complaining won't accomplish anything. I'm just gonna have to try for that scholarship. on chicken is almost over and it's my turn to cook tonight i'll catch you later them with the repellent. That should be enough for today. It's about time we head back.
Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. Hey, what's that umbrella for? I get the feeling it's for good luck, you know? So, which way to the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right! I forgot about that! Hope it's not too pricey. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Junpei. Outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open air hot springs I've heard about? No, I guess a bath wouldn't be so out in the open like this. Come on, don't lie to her. Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. 
Yoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trap. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man... Man... I tried my hand at sneaking out, but still got cut. Well, guess we ought to head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Hey there. Hey, what's up? Anything catch? Much appreciated. Well, look who we have here. Is the Kyoto cuisine to your liking? Honestly speaking, I have little interest in the plant-based fare they have going on here. I sampled the food the souvenir shop had to offer, but I find myself unimpressed. Yo, what's up? Check this out. The hot spring's over there, right? Now, if you consider how the garden is fenced... Are you seriously trying to peep? You do know you can get arrested for that, right? Of course not! I'm not stupid! But just imagine the steamy paradise beyond the garden fence! Close your eyes and focus. Then you'll see everything inside your mind. Give it up, you idiot. No way you can see a damn thing like that. Give up? Never! Nothing is impossible! And you call yourself an athlete? Where's your spirit? You're the only one holding yourself back. You gotta push your limits to succeed! <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day you'd teach me something about sportsmanship. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. I'll never give up! Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Oh, hey. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. 
I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. Then, after lights out, we girls get together and gush about who we like. And this year, I've got a lot to say. Oh, uh, by the way, have you checked out this vending machine? You don't really see these drinks back home. Maybe I should buy some as a souvenir. you. If you want to know more about the trip, you can find the details in the itinerary over there. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki, and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the entirely... I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him!
all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? <laughs> Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but... In the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started. That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end, for my father's sake, and for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together, okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. You already changed into your Yukata? Damn, you're fast. Dude, you won't believe what Miyamoto did today. Help me talk some sense into him. And do you always have to wear that stupid jersey? Of course I do. This way I'm ready to run wherever, whenever. Duh. That's the problem! You literally just run off! You have no idea how exhausted I am because of you! Do you know what this guy did? He went on a mad dash up the hill at Kiyomizu Dera. The rest of our group had to chug along to try and keep up with him. Look, man, if you see an incline, you gotta run uphill. That's what a real athlete does. Right? It seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened, but I'm relieved to see that she's feeling better. Oh, you're wearing a yukata! Looking good! It's a different look than usual. Maybe I should go get changed, too. Just now, I saw Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san leave the vicinity together. I saw Yukari-chan and Kirijo-senpai together earlier. They looked like they were having fun chatting with each other. You don't see that very often.
Hey there. Thanks. Looks like you're still wet behind the ears. Listen closely, all right? No gourmet worth their salt will be caught wearing a yukata. Wheat! Our belly expands, the sash gets too tight, so we loosen it. Then we eat some more, we loosen the sash more, the sash falls off, we're left in the nude. You follow me? I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. 
It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, you can't escape it? But from what I can tell, everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water, but we should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. Sup? Want to check out the outdoor hot spring? What? Dude, come on! Well, like it or not, you're coming with me. This is the first time I have seen a bathtub this large. Although, it seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. It's already the last night of our trip. All we ever did was visit the temples, but I think I'm gonna miss it here once we get home. There's just one thing I regret. Where is the girl of my dreams? Aren't romantic encounters supposed to happen on school trips? That's all you ever talk about. Isn't it about time you grow up? Wow, look at you all high and mighty. Even though you're the one sneaking glances at Takeba-san and her yukata. What? I, I wasn't looking at her.
Junpei was looking for you downstairs. Oh, hey! Oh, this trip went by in a blur. Can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. I don't really care much for temples, but I still had a lot of fun. Let's hang out after we get back. <laughs> I'm glad that Kirijo-senpai seems to be feeling better. Sup? Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Do you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance it could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Blow up how? Even still. Can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Yoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow! This hot spring is huge! Oh, shit! Wow, you're right! It's as big as a swimming pool! So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky little... Just shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Michuru's here, too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, Calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do?
Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. In the shadows? No, there's no one here. See? You have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! Mitsuru and I guess are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? Why is it red? He can explain later! Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that! Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural-born leader. Well, he got us this far. Might as well go all in with ya. All right, let's move. It couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Uh, I don't know how. But we made it out, all thanks to you. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where'd Junpei and Mochizuki go? Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Here they come! Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you reflecting on? Huh? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. 
Okay. Well, whatever. This secret stays between us, got it? You guys better take it to the grave. Oh, welcome back. Like Koromaru is really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non-stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. Then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep right. Hmm? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru is thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days.
the time to help me did you know that if you want a space to do street fundraising you have to send the application two months in advance i wonder if this is going to be enough flyers yes it is but this is what i signed up for the student council president mentioned the street fundraiser before, and now that it's almost here, I asked to be in charge of it. Ever since that business with Mr. Takenozuka got resolved, I felt more confident. Or maybe proactive is the better word. I can even talk to the boys in my class now, too. Well, a little. Anyways, running this fundraiser is just the beginning. From now on, I'm not going to be afraid of trying new things. Oh, but, um, I'd appreciate it if you could still help me every now and then, just like today. Yes, thank you. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember that illustration collection I found at the bookstore? Apparently, someone ended up buying it. I checked the other day, and he wasn't there anymore. But for some reason, I'm not sad about it. As long as whoever bought it is happy, then I'm happy too. Um, I'd like you to have this. It's a collection of manga short stories by the same artist. I bought it a long time ago, and I've read it so many times that I've practically memorized it. I'd like this book to be read by all sorts of people too. Just like that illustration collection, I'm sure that's much better than me just keeping it for myself that you be the first of those many readers? When you finish reading it, please pass it on to someone else. Maybe it would be a good idea to hand it off at the bookstore. It's not in print anymore, so you'll never see it in new releases. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so lucky to have met you. That book couldn't be in better hands. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Justice Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee. The, the ultimate, ultimate form, form of the justice, justice within thyself. thyself. Ah, there she is! Fujimi-san! Um, are 
be interrupting? No, not at all. Did you need something? Well, the student council led a street fundraiser a while back, and they asked for regular students to participate, right? We were curious about maybe learning more. Did you have any information on that? Of course, I can help with that. Oh, thank you again for helping me today, Senpai. I'm sorry I ended up taking so much of your time. I'll handle the rest by myself. I can do this on my own. It's just a little bit of talking. Um, if the timing is convenient though, let's walk home together again sometime. Okay, go ahead and fill out your name and class on this form. Now, as far as what you should expect on the day of... drawing. Why is this? What? Oh. It's been a while. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya... Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. All his fault. Ever since he started getting too close. I've suffered. Every. Single. Day. And now... I'm afraid to die. Hey, Chidori! Hurry it up! Mandia? 
Let's go. My Let's hear the results. Is that you? Wonderful. <laughs> if I may say, so, I will await a report of success. Very well.
What's up? Yeah. Sorry, I kept you waiting. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, I guess I need to train more. <sighs> Whew. It's going. I'm super thirsty. Oh, that was great. I always say food tastes better with a buddy. I used to come here all the time with my teammates, but... I'm the only one who says that anymore. Anyway, they wouldn't come now even if I invited them. I don't really get along with people who don't take the sport seriously. Even started training at different times. Nothing's organized anymore. I used to love it there, you know. I spent all my time on the track, practicing and training. We all loved track and had so much fun together. But then... Ah, never mind. It doesn't matter. We're too different, them and me. I'm going to reach heights they never will. I have to. That, that was a weird conversation. I think I'll do lunges the whole way home. You keep at it too. No slowing down.
Yes. How much longer until they can be harvested? That should be enough for today. It's about time we head back. Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. They're still alive. Those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's... She's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori! She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <sighs> Yamagishi! I'm... okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! Junpei, come back! This is almost certainly a trap. But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader. We have no idea what they're planning, so choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. Doing this doesn't make any sense! I mean, I know I'm not that smart. 
And I've done a lot of stupid things. But this... This is wrong! We shouldn't be fighting each other! Junpei-kun, look out! Whoa! Hey, that was close! You could've killed someone there! Yori... Why? Get back, Junpei! Talking won't solve anything now! It's too dangerous! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun! But please, just back up! Medea. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Jidori! What the hell's gotten into you? Right. You're all just a nuisance. Get ready. Unable to fight. What's next? to the suffering I'm feeling inside. This is nothing. I don't feel that. Thank you, Thank you very much. 
Keep it together. Now! What is optimal? Persona! It hurts. I can't breathe. I'm scared. You don't touch me, Chidori. Please tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life, everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei, you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. That sense. What is it? It's the others from Straka! How did they... Bastards! You just don't know when to give up! <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! Ha! I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was... chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! Protect Chidori with my life! Junpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Hmm. Junpei, look out! I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh-huh. I... thought I was. I guess... I was wrong. My fear? My heartache? I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I... I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... um... Uh, I... I want to be with you, too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why... This is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> what the hell? Junpei-kun! Junpei! It's her persona. Does it have the power to bestow life? I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait! If she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh! <laughs> Chidori! <laughs> So it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. But da, but da. That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. Yeah, same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on! <sighs> this might... Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! I love you. Jubei. Thank you. <laughs> Say something, please! Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Meaningless? Hmm. was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on it. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Trusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. <sighs> G. 
Chidori. Chidori. I... I... Oh, God, this is so hard. But it's not just my life anymore. Junpei.
morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. Done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Oh, hey, uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place, too. Uh, yeah, so I guess we both picked the same place for the internship program. You're already a step ahead of me, though. I overslept like hell. Uh... Whoa, damn it! Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? Well, yeah, but come on, you gotta help me. Any ideas at all? No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Oh, come on, man, you gotta help me. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are, working hard. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute, don't tell me. I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone's skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize, right now. Wait, now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. Not even in the slightest. But... I'm the one who got myself into this. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori?
Well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. Ugh. He has no idea how much trouble he's causing me. Tell him he'd better at least call out next time. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. There you are. Hey! Oh, you're looking pretty good. I would have thought you'd been working here for years. to place an order <laughs> looks like you've got the routine down maybe they'll hire you full-time <sighs> looks like you're doing all right oh it's nothing really if you don't mind uh, can we talk for a bit when you're done hey manager says to take your break What? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me. You got time. Look, they told me to break at the same time as you. We're both just standing around. Come on, this is our chance to chill. And don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei Kun. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Well, at first glance, he looks like he's goofing off as always. But it feels like he's forcing himself. I can see a hint of sadness when I look into his eyes. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good-looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect! What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. So don't worry. I'm sure Yori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. 
<laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei Kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? <laughs> I know I'm the one who asked, but I feel a little awkward hearing that. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before? But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Junbei Kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just. <sighs> I don't like it. Seeing you. Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. Yeah. 